What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to more Black Desert. I want to say happy holidays to all of you. Use the code above. I think it's for PC, NA, and EU. Uh, basically, it's just a lot of goodies. Um, so you get this thingy, the enhancement kit, a Christmas bundle, um, fail stacks, and some other, like, Christmas furniture. So today, what I wanted to talk about was... Things you should get in the Pearl Shop to maximize your value and time. So this one might not be as a popular of a video as some others, but I figured now is the perfect time because with today, um, there was this uh, two for one bundle, which is probably the only time I'd recommend buying pearls if you are going to, because you're literally getting double value. So like 12,000 for the price of, or two for the price of one, basically. So... I've done this video in the past, but as you guys know, things change and things are limited. So I wanted to go over what I think is valuable and what you should get at a high priority and things that are just, you know, optional. So this is coming from a veteran player who has a lot of the stuff. And I think that if you are going to spend money on this game, you should spend it and be smart about it. So yeah, so here's it. The things that I think are worth your time. So first of all, uh, if you're going to spend money, it's within the next two weeks, get the two for one value bundle and you're good to go. Next of all, um, there's a silver thingy that you can get discount coupons. So I think that's good. All right. So things I think that are important and or high priority that you should get are first of all, where is it? Um, yeah, I think weight is always more important than inventory slots because when you're grinding, you can always just made and like weight stuff back, but you can carry more without having to stack it on your horse. So overall, I think weight is more important than inventory if you're going for that. And usually those are kind of on sale, so you can get them at your own time. Next, I think the important things to get for yourself is a camp site. Now, this will allow you to do tent buffs, which is like a villa buffs that you go out into the desert for normally. But you don't have to do it as long as you have like an old moon thingy running at all times, which buy those off the market if you can. And so when it's on sale right now. The campsite is important for grinders because you can just buff up at your tent instead of going out into the desert to get everything. Um, obviously, buying the loot buff when you're grinding is pretty huge. So that's like a really high priority. Um, maids and butlers, I think, are useful, but I would not buy them at max price because they give a lot of them out just for like seasons um playing the game normally events and so yeah i've gotten a lot of them but most of them were through just free in-game stuff uh value pack now i know this is like a timed one but i think of a value pack as like a subscription to any mmo 15 dollars a month kind of standard for other games uh especially since this one is optional I think it gives enough value that they do give a lot of them away for free every now and then. And I also think that the benefits of it are actually super worth. So being able to have basically a lot of other paid options while you're still running your value pack for $15 is a lot of value. So if there's anything you have running, it is the value pack. And I know what some other people do is they go to the loyalty and just buy the one day one and then like they sell all their stuff but don't collect the silver off the central market but and then when they get to one day value pack they just collect everything so the tax doesn't hit like 30 percent extra so yeah that's why i know some people do but just honestly if you can afford it get the value pack just because um i i think of it as a sub to like any other game and i think it's worth it so yeah, that value pack and a campsite are two high priority things for me. Um, costumes are where things get a little bit tricky. 
So if you plan on getting a costume just to wear it, I think that's fine. If you're melting it for crons, that's where the line gets a little weird. But um, obviously in every other video game, costumes, cosmetics, I don't care what you do with it. So, but if you just like it because you like it, by all means. Um, now, another thing I think is important is a permanent horse whistle. Now, the reason why you have this is because obviously in BDO, horse riding is the most important thing, like the only way to get from point A to B quickly. Uh, the Magnus changed things a little bit, but I mean, even getting to the Magnus well is kind of, <laughs> I don't want to walk there. So getting a horse whistle is probably the most important thing, especially while it's on sale. So the difference between the trainer's flute and the horse whistle or the celestial horn is the trainer's flute allows you to call it from a certain distance, I believe like 500 meters away. And then the horse or the celestial whistle is you can call it from literally anywhere so that's the difference um before this celestial one even came out i never really had a problem with distance calling but now that you have the option to upgrade um the, per the celestial one from calling it any distance is a little bit better and more convenient so that's what i'd recommend um what else would i recommend I think they give a lot of horse gear and stuff away for giveaway or not giveaways, but like just through events. So you don't have to buy one. You'll probably get it eventually. And I also believe when it comes to pets, pets are extremely important. So to give you an idea, you want to have ultimately a tier five pet and a tier four. The highest you can get is a tier four. And then you do a quest without spending any money to get it to tier five. Um, now, I could go on a long rant on pets regarding, like, which ones are the best to get and which ones you should get. But as a newer player, what I'd recommend to people in terms of pets is always have five pets at level one or, like, not level one, tier one over, like, one tier four or five pet. So quantity is higher than quality at some point because... Eventually, the goal is to get them all to tier 4, but you want to get as many as you can to help you pick up loot and all that stuff. So five of them versus one of them at a higher level. Um, so what you get is basically personal opinion. And what I would recommend, though, is you want to get at least one Arctic Fox. If you are a pve -er or a grinder... What this allows you to do is pick up the item collection. So basically your loot increased by 1% times level. And so this will allow you to raise your drop rate by 1% up to 5%, which is good. And that's actually what I have here. Uh, I don't have the Arctic Fox, but I have the equivalent. So basically your item drop will be 5% at tier 5 or 4% at tier 4. And so I think that is one of the ones you should get. Um, sometimes when it comes to pets, they sell special ones or like the limited ones like the polar bear, hedgehog, and other ones. Um, life skillers, you use the hedgehog. Um, everyone else used the polar bears, which I'm kind of surprised they don't have the polar bears out right now. Oh, they do, I think. Yeah, they do. Polar bear boy and the hedgehog. So life skillers can get a life XP and double proc rate. Or hedgehog and the polar bear is just max weight increase so you know if you buy the polar bear it's kind of like buying weight but it's the same thing so basically it's like this the weight limit ten, uh, is 10 weight per tier or wait no that doesn't add up no it's just 50 never mind it's just 50 um but yeah and then the hedgehog is double proc rate so that's pretty nice so those are the three special ones that I'd recommend to people. There's obviously the Garmoth pet, but I it's only 100 extra HP. And that one you can't even buy off the cash up. So we're talking about the ones you can actually just buy are the polar bears, the Arctic Fox and the Hedgehog. So I do think pets are important. They are kind of a money sink. And there's this feature where it allows you to upgrade them. 
And let me just take this one, for example. Um, I don't know. Let's... Let's take a tier one. I'm going to show you how this works. So you see over here, it tells you what kind of pet they are. Event, premium, classic, whatever. If you take one, pick the pet you want. Let's take a tier one. And then you combine it with another premium. And then it'll tell you the chance of getting a tier two and tier three. When it comes to real money items, you want to, for the most part, try to guarantee a tier three or the highest you can. So when it comes to spending real money and how much it takes, you want to get this to 100 at all costs and make sure to don't take any RNG when you're upgrading. Just get it guaranteed and you're good. So honestly, they give a lot of pets away for free. Ever since I got mine to tier four, I have literally never bought a single pet after that. And then these are all the ones they just gave through the years of me playing. And yeah, never had to buy a pet again. So overall, those are pretty much my like top five things to get. A campsite, pets, weight limit, value pack, and um, like a horse whistle. Everything else, cosmetic. And here's my stance on like the whole pay to win thing. If it's cosmetic and you're using it for yourself, by all means, I don't care. But this game has, you could turn them into cron stones, which is a little bit like crossing the line in my eyes. But like, if you don't like it, don't buy it kind of thing. So yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions. And for everyone else, if you don't have max character slots, please get them. They have a lot of benefits other than just playing uh, like multiple classes because they are energy batteries, fail stack holders, and uh, they give family fame and all that stuff. So you want to make sure to get your family fame up. Um, you just get more silver every day. Play your characters. That's the most important part. If you enjoy it, try something new. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's really it, to be honest. Those are the top five things I would recommend for you guys. So with that said, there is a current event right now. And we'll talk about that more later. But you can start gifting items to other people. And the gift option will be, I don't know, is it like a costume or something? I don't actually know. But yeah, there's a gift option available. And I will be giving away items to people on the NA server. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, EU and uh, console one at the moment. So if you are an NA, leave your family name and I might pick some people and just start sending you gifts. So I want to thank everyone on the community who has helped support the channel for a while. And I like giving back during this time. So yeah, if you are an NA, leave your family name. I might send you a gift and we'll see. So with that said, Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Have a happy holidays, boys.